Hey guys, <laughs> I just felt like getting on and I feel like I'm a broken record, <laughs> but God is so good. Okay. And he is speaking to me like, I love how I write something and then like, Oh, God is so good. He's just been speaking. I'm going to share this with y'all. And God will, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, will get all of the glory in my situation. I was just talking yesterday about how God is bigger than our circumstances. Okay. Um, my lights, I don't have electricity right now. And I talked to God, I prayed about it. Um, and I was just sitting here watching, I don't know what movie I was watching. I was watching some movie and I just like, I felt at peace because I know that he's going to come through. As long as I keep seeking his face, he will come through. And... So I've been like in my word, I felt led to get my abide Bible, even though I have it packed up, like I have all of my Bibles packed up, but I felt led to pull it out. So I pulled it out and I'm just going back and forth between that Bible and my thrive Bible. God has been speaking. Okay. Let me tell you how good the Lord is. I was just writing. Okay. Where was I? Hold on guys. I was reading, I was reading Joshua, I want to say it was three. I think it was Joshua three, seven. No. Mm. Yeah, I think it was Joshua three, seven, right? And then I just kind of like, I did something and the page flipped. The page flipped to Joshua 22. Okay. Now I was writing in my journal before I read this and I'm bawling. Well, it's, it's, it's joyous tears, of course, but I'm going to read a little short. I wasn't even done with, um, I wasn't even done with this journal entry. And then there was um, hold on, where is it at? I'm so sorry, guys. I was crying. So my nose is like running a little bit. There was something that I came across earlier. Where is it, Lord? Hmm. Where is it? Hold on, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm like... I had to pause, y'all, guys. God is so good. I paused, and where I paused my video, it was at 3.33. 3.33. I can't make this stuff up. So, I came across... Just like different notes, like in this notebook, right? It says, trust the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. That's Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, I believe, which is something that's really famous, right? So I was writing. And I said, the Lord is reassuring me that he is with me at all times and to be strong in him and never lose sight of his presence, his instructions. I will always be grateful, and as long as I am obedient, I will succeed. My promised land, I will have authority over it and bring others to his heart. That's what I had written. Like, I wasn't done writing, right? And then the page flips over to Joshua 22, 22 5, and it says, God's perfect will. But be very careful to obey all the commands and the instruction that Moses gave to you. Love the Lord your God. Walk in all of his ways. Obey his commands. Hold firmly to him and serve him with all of your heart and all of your soul. I'm so sorry that I'm sniffling. I'm actually getting hot. 
but I'm about to leave, get in the car, have some AC. And the letter reads, Beloved daughter, I love you with an everlasting love. The rules I have given you are for your benefit. I want you, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. I want you to see the privileges that come from being my daughter. I don't want you to consider my commands to be limitations that hinder you, but life-giving words that, that free you. I created you, and I know your heart's desires, but I also know what is best for you. My word is powerful. Hang on to my instructions because they are your life preserver. I want you to trust me so that I may bless you. Don't lean on your own understanding. Lean on my perfect understanding. Love your heavenly father. The reflection reads, the instructions God has given us are not about what we can't do, but about what we get to do. When we obey him, we will be blessed. Focus on what you can do and what your father in heaven wants for you. The treasure of truth is God's instructions is a gift that frees us. God has been piecing everything together. Like he is piecing it together. He's been speaking. Oh gosh, I can't even explain it. He's been speaking to me. And like, you know, I'm trying to like sit still in his presence and just like be still because I'm always like up and at him and like doing this and doing that. And I'm like, Lord, I just need to be still. And then I earlier... Even before my sister sent me a vi like a prophetic word, but even before that, when I was talking to God, I heard him like he was like, "Wait on the Lord, like wait on me, be still, rest in 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 this situation." Like I heard him say that, and then I he she said my sister sends me this prophetic word, and he basically saying, "Rest in, rest in me. I am about to perform it. I'm going to do it for you." And I was like, "Okay, Lord." Um, Isaiah 41, there was something that stood out to me, uh, Isaiah 41, what, I'm so sorry guys, my nose is like, I'm going to read it from the NLT version, Isaiah 41, and I feel like I'm only, Isaiah 41, I feel like there is some that, um, I am here to share my journey, right? Whether it's, like I said in the very beginning, I'm sharing everything, everything, not just the good times, not just when I'm blessed, not just when I'm in I promise them, like, I'm literally giving y'all what I feel the Lord is leading me to give y'all. Does that, did that make sense? Um, because, like, it's the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm just going to keep saying that, the good, the bad, the ugly. Like, I'm literally, I have no electricity right now. Does it look like I don't have electricity right now? Like, me, like, physically, like. You know what I mean? And so I felt led to share this with y'all. I don't have lights right now, but I know in the name of Jesus that I will. My father is going to provide. Well, there is a way that when there is where there is a will, there is a way. I think I said that right. And he's just been speaking to me, speaking to me through everything right now. And so when I was like, okay, I just need to be still. I just need to be still. I just need to be still and not watching this or not reading this and not just be still and just know that he is God and just sit here, you know? So Isaiah 41, 4, no, Isaiah 41, 41, verse 1. Listen in silence before me, you lands beyond the sea. Bring your strongest arguments. Come now and speak. The court is ready for your case. What stood out to me is listen in silence before me. As long as we are silent, 
we have to silence ourselves. We have to, we have to uh, be still and just know that God is God. We have to let him be God. And as long as we're still and we're in his presence and we're listening with our, our spiritual ears, our eyes, looking at it with, at a spiritual standpoint, we will hear the voice of the Lord. So when I said to myself, okay, Lord, 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 I need to just sit still, be still. I need to sit still, just quiet myself. So listen in silence before me. That just like, boom, spoke to me like right there. So I just felt led to share that because God is going to get all the glory in the situation. He is going to get the glory in the situation because I am, I, I'm not going, if he, I know he's going to come through and this is not for me. And I was like, Lord, I don't want to go out and ask people, okay, can you help me here? Can you help me here? Like, unless he leads me to do that, I will do just that. But he will clearly place somebody on my heart, somebody in my pathway to come through with the light bill or, you know, with paying my light, like he's going to come through. And I just have faith in that. And I'm just resting in that. I'm not stressed out about it. I'm not pulling out my hair. I'm not, I'm not like, okay, Lord, like what, like what, like what, where is this blessing? Like what is going on? I'm not, I'm not. And I, I'm just sharing that because the, what's the verse of the day? What is the verse of the day, Lord, on the Bible app? It's, um, ooh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Romans? I think it's Romans 10, 14. I think that is it. Ooh, let that be it. Romans, Romans. Where's Romans? And I believe it reads, let me read from my new King James. Hold on, guys. I'm excited here. I got to go in a little bit church. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Where is Romans? Romans, 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 Romans. Wow, Romans. I'm almost done. I want to say it's 1014. Please let it be 1014. I might be wrong, guys. I might be wrong, but we're about to find out. Nope, it's not 1014. Dang it. I know it's 10 something. Oh, Lord. But it talks about... Oh man, I think it was like, I thought it was 1014, Jesus. Hearing by the, hearing, oh God, I wish I could look at my phone right now and I can't. I know it's Roman something though. And it talks about every, every word from the mouth of God. Oh God, I can't even, I can't even. I can't guys. I'll have to like maybe put that in a description box because I just thought it was Romans 10 14. Oh, I'm not going to be able to let this go. No, I thought that was it. Dang it. This must be lost. Oh. Uh, I don't know where it's at, guys. I'll have to post it in the description box. But yeah. Um. Anyways, I'll I'll look it up in a, in a oh my gosh. Okay, I'm back. I had to pause. I was like, I need to look for the scripture, and it's actually Romans ten seventeen. So faith comes from hearing. That is hearing the good news about Christ. God will stretch our faith. He will stretch us, and you have to have faith that His promises will stand they are yes and amen and you have to trust the lord in all areas of your life whether it's yeah it, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be difficult at times 
But when you have full trust and trust, when you have full trust in God and your in, in your relationship is like it's um it's it's authentic, it's um intimate. He, you know, he teaches us to trust him. He's not going to just, how do I say this? He's not going to just give us a promise and then boom. It's, it's okay. Like he prom like, for example, he could promise me something today, right? And then like, boom, it's going to come tomorrow. Like he has to build your faith. He has to build your trust. So... I just, I just felt led to share that because I know God's going to show up. I know he's going to show up. I know he's going to show up. I know he's going to show up. I have faith and trust in him, but I need to get, I need to get on the road. I have church. I don't want to be late. Um, but trust the Lord, trust the process, whatever it looks like for y'all guys. I have no light at the time. And do you see this face? Do I even look like I don't have light in my house? That is what happens again when you partner with God. God is so good. I'm not stressed out. I'm not like going to go get a loan or something or because and that's not if I do that that's not trust God at all. You know, I can easily I can easily go get a loan. But no, because where is God going to get the glory in that? He's not going to get the glory in that at all. So I have to come to him and tell him, "Lord, you know exactly what it is that I need." Because according to you, in the word of God, it says, for those of us that are in Christ Jesus, according to his riches and glories, according to his riches and glory for those who are in Christ Jesus, like, I, I, I think I have that wrong. I said that on myself. I'm hot. I'm thirsty. I'm like, I feel like I need to get on the road already. But he will give us what we need. He will give us what we need. He will give us what we need. He knows what we need. He knows what we need. So I want him to get the glory in this. He will get the glory in this. I know he's going to get the glory in this. And this is what it is to walk by faith and not by sight. This is exactly it. And resting in him. And resting in. I'm just resting in this. Because I know he's going to provide for me. I know he is. He is a man that shall not lie. I hope this encourages somebody and I will come back and I'm going to sh like, I'm, 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 um, declaring and decreeing in the name of Jesus. My lights will be turned on in Jesus name. God is going to make a way and he will get the glory and I'm going to come back and have lights. And I will share that as well. You have to call those things as if they already are. Because he, that's what he wants. He wants, oh my gosh. He wants to hear. He wants to hear it. Thank you, Lord, for my lights that are about to be turned on. Like, don't just sit here and be like, okay, well. Okay, God, well, let's see what we can do. See what you can do. Like, no, you have to pray about it. You have to seek his face for it. Like, my hair looks crazy. But he wants to hear it come out of your mouth. You can't just sit back and, 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 and do nothing. Give him, give him the honor. Give him the praise that he deserves. Praise him even before it's done. Whew. I got to get going, guys. I love y'all. God loves y'all so much more. I pray that this blesses someone. I know that it will. I can't wait to come back and, and, and share my... It will be my testimony, but I'm, I'm declaring and decreeing before it happens, it is done in Jesus name. Have a blessed day.